That's up 19%. The stock is, where is the option? Let's go symbol. L-C-I-D. Oh, these are puts in here. Um, I actually read something written down on the call side. Didn't quite meet the criteria of the search, so it got excluded. But let's look at the call side on Lucid. So Lucid, this is a two Feb. It's this week. All right, we're looking in here at the uh, the three fifty calls right here. Thirty nine thousand contracts traded today. Again at three at the three fifty strike. We go here more info toss charts. We look at this. And uh, we go one day, one minute. We are kind of backing off the highs day, which happens at times. This is probably a faulty data point up here, 58 cents. Probably never tested there at all. Um, but the uh, point is we've seen some push earlier in the session. We had one little point here. We had 6,900 contracts traded in one minute at 7.56 through about, uh, through about 8.16 here. So you can kind of see the push, right? This is the gamma squeeze pushing the stock from 266 to 336. This is a major, major move in Lucid Motors. All right, great. We're seeing some gamma effect today. What is a principal driver? We probably want to see, look, we want to see the stock close above the high of, the, of uh, January 24th at uh, 3.15. We can close above that level towards the high of the session. This could be an opportunity. Now, the thing to remember about Lucid Motors is Lucid Motors, we could look at, uh, we wouldn't hurt to look at uh, uh, news. This stock has 22% short interest and a short ratio of 5.85 days. Meaning what? The the open, sorry, the short interest is 5.85 times the, the average volume. And 22% of the float is shorted. So this is a potential short squeeze candidate. Okay, so we look at this and say, okay, potential short squeeze. Um, again, it's not one we're traditionally looking for right now, but we're seeing it individually, not as a class. Um, also, plug. Plug today, right? 